So as you can see, this is the normal. We will label it in L, okay? And it's supposed to be a, a straight line. Then what they ask here, okay? Label the point Q where NL cross AB. So this is the point Q. I'll label it, okay? I'll change the color so it will be more clear. This is Q, okay? In the middle between A and B, exactly. This is one mark. Then draw the line EF parallel to CD, two centimeter below CD. Now we will bring our ruler and we will put it here. Okay, so we put our ruler here and we measure two centimeter below. And the same thing here, we measure two centimeter below and we will mark the points in both sides. So we can do what we can draw a line which is parallel to CD and two centimeter below. It will be something like this. Okay, by ruler, of course. Then what they ask, they ask to uh, label the point J where it crosses uh, the line a AF. Okay, so this is the line AF. And here is the point where I will call it J. Then they ask us to draw another line GH parallel to CD and eight, seven centimeter below CD. So we bring our ruler again and we measure seven centimeters below the CD. Okay, seven centimeter. It will be something like this. And we will call this line by the name that they tell us GH. And where they, uh, there is a cross, I will call it what K. So here, GH. And the point of intersection, I will what call it K. Good? Okay, this is another one mark. Then CI, draw the line PQ at an angle of I 30 degrees to the normal and to the left above the block. Okay, we bring our protractor, we bring our protractor, and we put it here, okay, in this way, and we measure 30 degrees. Okay, then we'll what use our pencil with ruler to draw the line which is 30 degrees like this okay to the left of this normal okay this is 30 degrees okay then we will remove our what our protractor and the points this is the line now what they call this line this is called pq so somewhere this is a q and somewhere there I will call it what P here, okay? Then what they ask, okay, we have only to follow the instructions as all paper six, okay? The student places a two pens P1 and P2 line PQ, okay? They are not shown in the full size, suggest so a suitable distance between these uh, this, uh, PQ and uh, the pens P1 and P2. Now, the, actually, the distance is supposed to be between five centimeter to approximately 15 centimeter on the trace sheet. So I will put approximately 8.0 centimeter. Okay, this is the, uh, uh, the suggestion of the distance between the pens to be more accurate. Okay, then what they ask, okay. Uh, they say that here, the student observed the image of P1, P2 through the side CD. Okay, they are just to be images appear behind each other. She places the pens P3 and P4 on the line EF. Okay, and the line G, uh, GH, okay, so P3 and P1 uh, and 2, they are appear behind P4 as it seems here. So all the, all the pins, P1, P2, P3, and P4, they have to be seen behind each other from the I position. What they ask here, okay, after the, we do that, on the figure, measure, use the ruler, measure the length of the line J, what P3, okay? From J to P3, by using the uh, ruler, I will measure the distance from here to here. It will be approximately 2 point, what? 2.4 centimeter. Let me write it down. Okay. So it will be approximately 2.4 by using the calculator. So 2.4 centimeter, they call the distance A. Then measure the length B, from K to P3, to P4, sorry. They ask to measure the distance from here, 
to somewhere here. By using the ruler, it will be approximately what? Uh, 5.4 centimeter. Okay, 5.4 centimeter. It depends on how much accurate you are. Then they ask us to calculate the values of B over A. So we will use the calculator and write 5.4 uh, divided by uh, 2.4. And by using the calculator, okay, 5.4 divided by 2.4, which will be equal 2.25. And there is no unit for centimeter. You can write it as two significant figures, 2.3. Okay. Okay. State one precaution that you would take in this experiment in order to produce an accurate what trace. Now to do that, I can do many things. I can view the bases, okay, of the pens, or uh, the pens at least uh, more than five centimeter apart. And so these pens they are close, okay. Or I can ensure that the pens they are vertical. Make sure that the pens are vertical. Vertical to the sheet, so we can see that behind each other. Okay, then what they ask here, here, a student plans, okay, plans to test the suggestion that in this experiment, P over A, okay, at the, is a constant for all possible values of I. Okay, list possible values for I that, that the student could use, so I can, do that several times. I can do at least uh, uh, four or five values, and they have to be bigger than 30 degrees uh, as we, they started. So let's say that I would put, for example, at 40 degrees, comma, okay, 45 degrees, comma, 50 degrees, comma, okay, 60 degrees, let's say, comma, and what, let's, uh, that's it, maybe 65 degrees, that's enough. Okay, and that's it. Have a nice day.